The government is now actively encouraging later life working. The state pension age is being raised and the whole idea of retirement as a specially protected stage of life is under question. A lot of the old ways of thinking about pensions no longer hold true. So we sent our reporter Sarah Lockett back to school to do some myth busting with Legal in General. The new pension freedoms mean that many of the old accepted ways of running a pension no longer hold water. So I've come to this school science laboratory in West London to put a few preconceptions under the microscope to do a little myth busting. One of the big myths that I'd really like us to bust today is the fact that you need to de-risk your assets as you get closer to retirement. First up, the balloon experiment. Tara and Jack know the more air they contain, or in investments, the more risk, the further they go. You would tend to have stocks and shares in the early years, bonds and cash later. You could really miss out on some potential returns that come in in the later years, you know, maybe from age 60 to 65. We've actually done some analysis that shows you could get up to 23% growth over that period if you remain invested in a diversified growth fund. So basically, you don't want to be the green balloon that runs out of steam and you've run out of assets, but you've still got plenty of life to live in retirement. Most people won't get to retire at 65, but in a way that's a good thing. It's the reality of living a lot longer. So people are living a lot longer than they were back in 1940 when the men's state retirement age was set at 65 and women's was set at 60. In this foamy fountain experiment, the more solution you add, or the more years you work, the more foam you get, or the bigger your retirement income. So the reality is the trend is already well underway with people working longer. So around one in four people is now working between 65 and 70, which is just about doubled from where it was 20 years ago. Three, two, one. It's all about putting enough in to get the right reaction in retirement, the right outcome. And the reality is that if you don't put enough in during your working life, you won't get enough out of it once you retire. Yes! Financial expert Holly McKay says pensions aren't dreary, but the way they're presented may be. Savings are a bit like building a snowman. You roll that ball and for ages it feels like nothing is going to happen. But the faster you can grow it, the quicker it grows. And it's the same with your money. If the whole idea brings you out in horror, then like those of us who are bad cooks, you can go online and get the investment or the pension equivalent of a ready meal. It's all put together for you. If you do want help and information, there's loads of really useful stuff out there online. So I really think more of us can get going even if we're not confident about it all. Lots of people we talk to just assume that you have to be really rich, really well off to be able to save into a pension. It's not true. You do have to be able to afford to set that money aside. It is locked away until you're at least 55. But you can get going with really small amounts. Even just £25 a month into an online scheme is enough to get you going. Although I might not say it at a party, pensions are actually far from boring. I think of it like free money. If you're a basic rate taxpayer, for every £80 you save into a pension, the government give you an extra £20. That's not boring. What would you say to free money? Yeah!